Greetings programs. This is Wretch and I'd like to welcome you to a very special playthrough. Now, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. That is Mega Man running alongside Mario in what looks to be the first level of Mario Brothers. But it looks like Link's Adventure. And you see Link right there. And Bass. Along with Luigi and Simon Belmont. And Ryu from Ninja Gaiden. And there's Samus Aran from Metroid. And Sophia the Third from Blaster Master. As well as Bill from Contra. Now the reason all these guys are together are for an awesome Flash game called Super Mario Brothers Crossover. You can play this game uh, for free right now on ExplodingRabbit.com. I'll link it below in the description. And it's just a love letter to old classic games. The whole purpose of this game is using all these classic Nintendo characters. You try and beat the original Super Mario Brothers. And they have a lot of their abil classic abilities and different kinds of stuff they can do. And it's just awesome, man. So let's go ahead and get to it. We'll start a new game. And you see here the character screen, and it's not only that, you're thinking, well, do you just play this just like in a Link's Awakening skin? No. You can change the map skin to be all kinds, from different versions of Mario Brothers, to Blaster Master, Castlevania, Zelda 2, and Demon Returns. And the cool thing is, it plays the native music, which is pretty sweet, I thought. Um, now, you may think, well, they have Demon Returns, like, why didn't they put the Demon Prince in the character select? Well, they did. You go ahead and choose certain characters, like Mario, and you see all these different versions of Mario that you can play. And it plays the music native to that character's game. For example, if we played this version of Mario, we'd be hearing music from Super Mario Land 2, and so on. You have all these different versions of Mario, as well as Toad and the Demon Prince from Demon Returns. With Luigi, you can go through different versions of Luigi as well as two versions of Princess Toadstool. Now with Link, you have Link as well as Dark Link. You can play as Zelda, Ralph from Oracle of Ages, the old man who uh, normally takes care of Link, uh, the hero and heroine from BS The Legend of Zelda, as well as Arkista's Ring, and different characters from Dragon Warrior and Final Fantasy. Now with Samus, you have Samus both armored and unarmored, Dark Samus, as well as Kid Icarus. With Simon, you have Simon and other Belmonts such as Trevor and Richter, and a Whip Skeleton from Castlevania 3, as well as Alex and Cuno from River City Ransom. Now with the blue bomber here, Mega Man, you have Mega Man both helmeted and unhelmeted. Uh, Quint from Mega Man 2, Proto Man, Roll, Dr. Light, Cut Man, Fire Man, Ice Man, as well as Francesca and Doropai from the Kryrian Conquest, which I've never played, and Roko-chan. Now with base, you have a villains exhibition here. You have, for the most part, you have four versions of, or five versions of base. Four versions of Dr. Wily. I hope I haven't spoiled Mega Man 6 for anyone. Dr. Cossack from Mega Man 4, as well as Quick Man, Gemini Man, and Skull Man. Now with Bill, you have different characters from Contra, as well as characters from Probotector, which if you never played, check it out. It's an awesome NES game. With Ryu, it's a ninja's parade. We have Ryu, as well as Hayate and Cade from Shadow of the Ninja, Shadow from Final Fantasy VI, he's one of my favorites, and Haggleman. And finally, with uh, Jason, who's in Sophia the Third from Master Blaster, you have, uh, I'm sorry, Blaster Master, <laughs> who run Bar to Town. Uh, you have different versions of the tank, as well as a Tetris tank, and a Tetris and Dr. Mario tank, so that's pretty sweet. So a lot to do here. Let's change. Let's go with. Uh, let's do start with Zelda 2. And who better to do this than the hero of time? Let's go with. Let's go with the Link to the Past version. 
as the bird picks us up and takes us to world 8. Oh, not the case. Now, you have to kill the enemies with your sword. You cannot jump on them, only the Mario characters can do that. And the awesome Link to the Past music. Link to the Past was my favorite Zelda game by far, um, followed very closely by Ocarina. And as you can see here, all the stuff from the original Mario Brothers is still here, all the one-ups and everything. And you see the fire flower replaced by this candle. Now I'll give you a guess what he has now. Probably one of the most recognizable sounds in gaming history. The laser sword. And Link's other abilities are, he can go ahead and throw a boomerang to stun. And he can set bombs. I've never really found a use for the bombs, but they do drop, so why not? And I like his little flip. Also, Link can hit up and down, so we can do kind of a variation of the pogo attack from DuckTales. And hitting up makes it extremely easy, especially when you're dealing with the Lakitus later in the game. And Link just made this cake. Good times. And we unlock the infinite time cheat, but we're not going to use those, obviously. I think for our next character... Let's go... Let's go with Shadow from FF6. I love FX, FF6. That's one of my favorite Final Fantasies by far. Or FF3 as it was released here in America. Predominantly for the music. The music's amazing. But most music from Final Fantasy is amazing. I just miss the old school Final Fantasy style games. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the full character renders and stuff like that, but there was something classic and timeless about how they used to do it. And you can see here Shadow, like Ryu, has the wall climb, which can be a blessing and a curse depending on when you do it. Oh. And Ryu, when he has the fire flower, normally he can shoot normal ninja star, but with the fire flower, he can shoot the windmill blade from Ninja Gaiden, which is cool. Or Shadow, rather. Now, we're not doing this like a true ninja, are we? Oh well. Just gonna do the old uh, ceiling trick. This is why we'll show you a little bit about what Ryu can, or excuse me, Shadow can do. Because once you have that windmill blade, it's. everything's quite easy. And the cool thing, one of the cool things about this game, there are a lot of cool things about this game, but one of the coolest is whoever you're rescuing is based on who you're playing. For example, if I was Shadow here and got to the castle at 8-4 and cleared it, which I hope we're going to do, he'd be rescuing his dog Hunter, I think his name was. Uh, with Link, you'd be rescuing Zelda. With Mario, or excuse me, with Zelda, or blah, excuse me, <laughs> with Toadstool, I think you'd be wrestling, rescuing Mario. Um, with Skullman, you'd be rescuing Dr. Cossack or Dr. Wily, so it's all related, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're in World 4-1. Let's... I'll tell you what. Let's change the skin first off. Let's do... Super Mario Brothers for the SNES. And let's break out Samus. Bounty Hunter Extraordinaire. That's interesting. I thought that music was from Shadowrun. Guess I was wrong. Now, the mushroom gives her gun a full range of fire. Normally, she has a very short range, like in the original Metroid. And these Spinies and Lakitus are still annoying as sin, so we're just going to try our best to ignore them. And with the mushroom and fire fi with the mushroom, Samus gains the ability to fire off missiles which do a ton of damage. Oh. I hate spinies. We're gonna shoot our way through here. Also, Samus oh, is in trouble. There we go. Uh, Samus can go into the ball and set bombs, which is pretty sweet. And with a fire flower, life becomes a whole lot easier.
Ooh, got so like a super jump. Come on, can we get the Lakitu just for the... Yes, that's satisfying. And bam. Good job, Samus. No fireworks, though. Sad days. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and try Sophia for Master Blaster. Let's change the skin up to... What should we set it up to? That's Super Mario Bros. 3, why right not? And Jason and his mighty tank. Because real men wear, wear pink, apparently. Oh, are we in the ice level? Alright, and you can see here, the awesome tank from Blaster Master. Now, the mushroom, as you can see, gives Jason and his tank the ability to hover. And a full range of motion with the shots. The Sophia the Third is one of the cheesiest characters in this game, and I'll show you why. Once they have the Fire Flower, check that out. That makes some of these levels so easy to go through, it's not even funny. And you can jump from, or uh, change the direction and everything. Let's climb up here. And it's a hop, skip, and a jump to World 8. Easy peasy, as they say. And let's do this, let's do this right. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we are here in World 8-1. Let's change this to... Let's go with Blaster Master. Oh, that looks... That looks creepy. And... Hmm... Dr. Wily? I'll tell you what, let's go with one of the most annoying characters in video game history. Let's go with Quick Man. Annoying in terms of difficulty level. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. His boomerang buster is fully automatic. So you just sit there and hold the button and watch things die before you. And as his name suggests, he is very fast. I was like, I'm not doing the B, the B run or anything. That's just as fast as he normally is. Get that one up. Yeah, I remember how annoying Quick Man was in Mega Man 2. I remember watching uh, Ro Mithril, who does these amazing Mega Man perfect runs where he beats, game beats the games without getting hit. Uh, he had so much trouble on Quick Man, and rightfully so. Quick Man is just one of the nastiest robot masters ever. But we're going to be very careful because he doesn't have any mushroom or anything, so one shot will kill him. He's a very fragile robot master right now. Oh. Yeah, these flying ones could give me a bit of trouble. Come on. There you go. Good job, quick man. Here's... Okay, what is... Ah, the awesome Mega Man 2 starting screen music. Come on, quick man. Plow through these guys. Woo! I cut it a bit close right there. And these guys, yeah, all the shots and whatnot do not work on the Beatles or the Bullet Bills, I would imagine. So you have to be careful with that. Oop. Let's plow our way through here. Running a little bit short on time. But Quick Man will do it with time to spare. He's quick after all. He earned his Robot Master money today. Dr. Wily would be pleased. Alright, we are here at World 8-2, which is my least favorite world. Uh... 
Let's go with Bill from Contra. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why here in a sec. First off, let's change the level. Actually, you know what? Let's go with Belmont. Belmont might be a little bit better for our purposes. Come on, Simon. Sadly, there is no meat in a wall for us in this game. And Simon, as you can see here, has the axes. Which is going to make that little part with the uh, Koopas much easier to deal with. And Simon has an amazing double jump. There we go. That right there is my least favorite part of this of all of Mario Brothers is that little climb up that staircase. And we are just going to try and jump over all these guys. Not going to get that one up. That's okay though. We're going to err on the side of caution. I wish Simon had a double jump like this in the uh, first. Castlevania. That would have made this game would have made the game so much easier. <laughs> Alright, you can see the mushroom gives him his chain whip. And I believe you can actually find other uh, other types of his special weapons. I know you can at least find the clock, which will freeze everyone. Oop. Gotta be very careful with these flyers. Okay, into the pit with you. You know, sometimes they can cheese you. This is a very Castlevania level. I wonder what Simon's thinking fighting these, like, undead turtles. It's not what he's used to. Oh! Oh, that Koopas. There we go. Simon almost did a moonwalk there. Let's see, can we get through all the way? Looks like we can. Good job, Simon. With 103 to spare. Now, hmm. We haven't done Mega Man yet, have we? Let's go with the blue bomber. Love me some Mega Man. Let's change the skin first. Let's go with Super Mario Land 2. Oh, that's kind of rad. Let's go with... Let's go with the Game Boy version of Mega Man. Why not? Let's make it all look like it fits. Awesome! Look at that! Does he have his slide? Oh, he does have his slide. Slide looks a little bit different on the Game Boy. Alright, Hammer Brothers. Let's see if we can just sit there and light one up. And with the mushroom, I'll give you a guess what Mega Man can do with it. Let's see, let's get the mushroom first. Check it out. You can charge the Mega Buster. Which is awesome. Let's uh, make sure we can actually use it first, though. Alright, let's use this against the Hammer Brothers. And you see, like, one of the, uh, the power-ups there that powers up a Robot Master weapon. And you're like, why are enemies dropping that? Well, I'll show you. Mega Man's uh, Fire Flower is one of the cheesiest weapons in video game history. And if you're familiar with Mega Man 2, uh, you'll see why. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, we're running a little bit low on time here. The Metal Blade for Mega Man 2. Alright, come on, Mega Man. Gotta keep the pace here, bud. Just gonna plow through these guys. Oop! I think we'll do this with plenty of time to spare. We are gonna go for those coins. Come on! 
5,000. Good job, Mega Man. Oh, I dig the castle vibe. That's pretty sweet. Well, let's see. I don't think we've used Bill from Contra yet, and we have some lives to play around with. So let's go ahead and change this to... Hmm... Let's do this with Super Mario Bros. 2 on the SNES. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Now let's do Bill from Contra. Now, Bill's jumping is hard to control, but he evens that out by being very powerful offensively. He already has a full range of shots, and his mushroom stuff is disgusting. The mushroom gives him fully automatic fire on the first one, and then the second one gives him a spread shot, which just destroys everything in its path. Which is very fun- oh, you see that jumping? His jumping is so hard to control. Now this castle, I it, I played Super Mario Brothers so much, I know this castle by heart. Check it out, the little uh, snow flurries. Woo. Oh, Oh, was that a... That was a beetle, wasn't it? Whoops. Oh well. Uh, good job, Bill. <laughs> well, who should we go with then, guys? Let's do Mega Man. I love Mega Man. Let's change the... Actually, let's go with Link. Let's go with Zelda. And give the Hero of Time another chance to shine. Oh, that classic dungeon music, too. And I do believe at the end of this, we fight Ganon. Because it's whatever the skin is, depends on who you fight. Like in Castlevania, if I remember when I first uh, played around with this, you fought uh, the Grim Reaper each boss instead of Bowser. And he'd throw the sickles instead of the hammers. So I think we may fight Ganon, but this was, supposed to, this was based off uh, Link's adventure, so I'm not sure who we're going to fight. Yeah, those are definitely uh, the Beatles. No wonder Bill couldn't kill him. Can we... We can't stun them with the boomerang, though. That's kind of cool. And jump over them. And we're going to take no chances here. Those are kind of weird. The looks like scorpion or centipede tails. Those are scary. Alright, is this the area with the fish? Yep, it's the area with the fish. And actually, they have skeletal fish. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, water zone. And they're playing the music from the story intro. Oh, those things are... Oh, those are the spiders. Okay. They're playing the awesome music uh, when they explain the story from Link to the Past. And when... You're outside in the rain, heading to the castle after your uncle leaves. Alright, we still have plenty of time. Let's... Fight through the Hammer Brother. Now, who are we fighting here? I'm not gonna find out. Wow. Link's jumping was less than... P not par. Well... Link had his shot. Let's go with... Maybe Mega Man? Now let's go with Samus. We'll stay in uh, Link for Link World. We we'll, uh, we will avenge Link. Oh yeah, I think this is going to be pretty easy with Samus. He's gonna, she's just gonna sit here and just kill all the things and get plenty of missiles. If I get enough missiles, whoever the boss is, it's not gonna matter much. I like the, the, the Super Metroid music. I think this may be the, the March Toward Mother Brain? I'm not sure. Will the missiles work on... Actually. Oh, come on. There we go. I did not want to lose these... The, I did not want to lose this gun before getting to the boss. Now 
And the thing about I've noticed that some, as I said, I think I may have said before, some of these guys are so much harder, or some of these levels are so much easier with these guys, but some of the levels are a lot harder because Mario Brothers was based off speed, a lot of it, and some of these guys are not fast at all, so you're continually fighting the clock. And let's go ahead and cheese it off with Samus's uh, Morph Ball. Let's, let's be careful here. Whew. Got a haircut there, Samus. Alright, let's actually see if we can make this jump that Link could not do. And sit here and blitz that monster. And we got plenty of missiles. Let's wait for the fire to go. Alright, is this Ganon? Oh, that's Ganon! Missiles for days! Alright, we are out of missiles. Woo! Check that out! Who do you met? Did you rescue the Metroid? Oh, you did. Samus rescued the hatchling. Thank you, Samus. Your quest is over. That's pretty sweet. That was always sad, the story with the hatchling. Alright guys, well, that was Super Mario Bros. Crossover, and like I said, you can play this game for free on ExplodingRabbit.com. It's an amazing little game to play, and I strongly suggest going through the entire thing with all these different characters and, you know, just checking out the difficulty levels, because it may surprise you. But I give definite props to everyone who worked on this game, everyone who play-tested it. It's, pro it's probably the best Flash game ever, especially for people like me who love nostalgia. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked it, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel or leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll catch you all next time. Later days, everyone.